Restrictions on gatherings are beginning to ease and churches and restaurants in many areas are preparing to reopen. Many people looking forward to attending an in-person religious service or finally get out to dinner after months of staying at home and away from people. But not everybody. If you're feeling anxious about being around other people, you may not be alone. All right, let's check in with clinical psychologist Dr. Jeff Gardier and talk about it. Hey, Jeff, welcome back. Great to see you, Bill. What do you want to say to that person who's legitimately scared and they're not sure if they're ready to come out of their house? Bill, there are a lot of people who are certainly anxious about going back into the world because they've been home for such a long time. And let's be honest about this. Uh, as far as CDC guidelines and other guidelines, uh, they've been kind of muddled and uh, now those organizations are starting to get it together. But I think it's important that people be able to understand that uh, the best way to deal with that anxiety is by getting out there but by doing their research and finding out what are the best ways that they can behave, uh, keep themselves safe and keep other people safe. And that will bring down a lot of that anxiety. We've passed through the major part of this pandemic. Uh, how do you ease the anxiety when this comes back and you know we get back into flu season in the fall? Yeah, a lot of people are very concerned that there may be a second wave and many of the scientists are saying that there certainly will be. But even though we may see numbers not coming back in the way they once were, people don't want to get COVID-19. Uh, that's an individual experience that they'd rather avoid and they don't want to get other people within their family sick. So I think it's important that once they start getting back out there, as I said, know what the safe behaviors or safer behaviors are. And as a family, uh, rehearse what it is that you want to do before you go out to dinner. Uh, how do you want to address someone who may be in your space uh, and may not be social distancing? How do you deal with a restaurant that may be overcrowded and you feel uncomfortable with that? Do you go to another restaurant? Do you still go in but find a place where you can sit? And how do you talk to people about that? How do you share that with your family? And I think as you get back out there more and more and you have a routine for yourself and you're not just swinging it, you're actually rehearsing and knowing what you want to do, it will be easier and easier to get back into the world. Thanks, Doc. Good to talk to you. Good to talk to you, Bill.